Hey everybody, this is Mr. Lima. How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are okay. As I said, everybody, this is Mr. Lima. And this is our English class for you guys from 9th grade. Então, essa é a nossa aula de inglês para vocês do nono ano. Pessoal, please, I would like you guys to please open your English book because now we are going to start the correction of the homework, right? So please grab that so we can uh, correct your homework first. Então, vamos iniciar a nossa correção da aula de hoje, nossa correção da atividade de classe, de, cla de casa, desculpa. Ok, a correção corresponde às páginas. 93, 94 e 95. Então, nós temos aqui, ó. Question 2. Now choose the proper option to form the dialogue. Então, aqui abaixo, temos que escolher a opção correta, a opção apropriada, to form the dialogue, para formar, né? Para completar o diálogo. Ok? Here we have C. Laila. Hey, Marisa, what were you doing? Ok? Uh, and here, what were you doing? Colette met here, was talking, called, ok? Oh, tell me everything. What did you talk? Okay. What did you talk? And here, talked. Okay. Essas que estão circuladas em azul são as opções corretas, certo? De um lado da barra. De um lado da barrinha. They were doing. Sneaked out. Did you guys do? Em seguida, were getting, called, had, said he was going. Gente, silêncio um pouquinho aí, por favor. Said he was going. Got home. Was watching. Called. Ok? Agora, prepositions of time. Fill in the blanks using the correct time preposition. Julia never wakes up early in the morning. In the morning. She's never on time. On time. I got here at 9 a.m. I got here at 9 a.m. I was on last Monday. John will be here on Friday. And only the first Friday in July. Save the date on December at 4 p.m. In the afternoon. In three years. Last week on July, okay? Two, use the following prepositions of time below to fill in the text. So you gotta use those prepositions here to complete the text below. So you have, during my time in New York, over the four weeks there, until dawn, by the end, Four years. Let's go to the next page. Let's keep on the correction. So we have page 94. On page 94, we have choose three prepositions above and form sentence to describe real fact moments. 
So you gotta use prepositions that we have worked already and try to form facts, try to describe real fact moments here. Okay, so it's a writing exercise. On coordinated conjunctions, you have, look at the text below. Sometimes something is missing. Complete it, order, the, order to connect the sentence. So what do you have here? You have a box full of coordinating conjunction and you have to complete, to fill the text below with the appropriate coordinate conjunction. The first one you have to put is yet. The next one, nor, then or, put, but, then so, for, and, okay? So the text is going to be, Pedro always enjoyed playing the drums, yet he started in a band playing the bass and eventually singing. Nor he's having fun or playing what he's used to, but he decided to talk to his bad mates, band mates. So they made an agreement for what is important in band is that if members have a good time with music. Pedro now alternates places with Ro, the other drummer, and they are doing a very different sound with, sound with this. They were even called for a TV shows. Okay, next topic, second activity. Connect the following sentence using coordinate conjunction. Okay. So we have sentence here, and we should connect the sentence using coordinate conjunction, put them all together. Okay, so sentence A is going to be customers can buy product products in person and buy them online too. B is going to be Rick studied a lot for the audition, but he didn't pass. E, cheese was more expensive than butter. So Hillary bought two boxes. No Claudia likes rap, likes rap or heavy metal, okay? And the following topic is simple future with will versus going to plans and predictions is also a reveal of future, simple future, and future with going to. In this top here, you gotta see, use will or going to according to the tips inside parentheses. About us, gente, mais baixo por favor. About uncertain facts, which one do you use? Will? Will, so for example, Lara will get married next year. On B, prediction based in fact. So don't drive so fast. We are going to have an accident, okay? On C, hey, we are going to have a party tonight because it's a certain fact in the near future. We are going to. Okay, a possibility, for a possibility, we write will. He will run for president. At least this is what we expect. On E, weather on TV says it will be a sunny day tomorrow. For prediction of weather, we say will. F, I'm going to go to the movies on Friday. I read got the tickets, okay, the tickets. On to now use will you are going to to complete NS diary. Let's see. Question two, Tuesdays, November 23. Oh, I am going to be honest, diary. Next year, 
I think man will send me for an interchange time in France. She promised me she's going to say for sure this weekend. For this is going to be a long, long way. But can you imagine that? Once in, once in France, I will be able to visit the Louvre Museum and I will take some photos at Eiffel Tower. I'm so excited about it. Monday, November 29. Yes, mom is going to send me an interchange time in France. And I'm going to be able to visit, to visit Louvre Museum. Gente, por favor, entre em silêncio que eu tô gravando, tá? And I'm going to be able to visit Louvre Museum thing when I get there. Also, I'm going to take a lot of pics from Eiffel Tower. I am still excited about it. There it is. It is, it is going to be great. Okay? So, aqui, nessa página, que é a página 95, questão 2, ok? Ainda faz parte da correção. Tem a seguinte pergunta. Gente, vamos lá entrando. Vamos lá entrando. Okay, I'm back, guys. Do you notice any change between the two days referring to will go to be users? Então, vocês conseguem perceber alguma diferença entre os usos, né, nos dias de will e nos usos do dia de going to? Can you explain why? Então, é simples, né? And in the first day, she's not sure about going to or not to France. Então, ela não está segura, né? Sobre ir ou não para a França. No primeiro dia. So, she, she, she uses will for uncertainty. Quando ela não tem certeza, ela usa will. Né? On the second day, she's totally sure about that. Então, no segundo dia, ela tá, já tem certeza, já tem completa certeza sobre isso. So, she changed and started using going to. Então, para isso, ela mudou a estrutura da frase, mudou a estrutura da sentença. E usou, portanto, going to. Ok? Aí a gente tem o um iniciozinho de um outro tópico, que é polysemic. Circle the polysemic words in the sentence. Né? 
also explain the difference between each case. So here we have the chip was listed badly. And here we are listing, we're listing the requirements for the course. Então, polysemic, palavras que têm sentidos, né? Diferentes. Por exemplo, listen here is damage, a bot or ship. E listen, na frase de baixo, the verb to list. É colocar coisas, atividades, ou assuntos, ou objetos, em uma lista, fazendo uma lista, o ato de fazer lista. Então, B, they came to a fork in the road. Né? And, he, and na segunda, he placed the fork beside the knife or on the plate. Então, nessa primeira, the fork in a, in a, in a road é uma bifurcação. Já um, um apetrecho né, que nós usamos para comer né, é um elemento, né, um talher, pode ser fork também. Né, um dos talheres que usamos para comer, no inglês, se chama fork. Ok? Uh, the, dog the dog tried to lap the water. Né? Uh, e também, the cat sat in my lap. Então, lap também pode ter diferentes meanings, diferentes significados. Um deles is go around a course in race. E go around a course in race é um desses significados. E o segundo é on top of tides. When you are set. É um dos significados de lab. Ok? Então, finalizamos a correção da página 25. Falamos aí no finalzinho de polysemic words, palavras com diferentes sentidos, diferentes significados. E também uh, falamos sobre a diferença de will e going to nas páginas anteriores. E também coordinate conjunctions, além de um, prepositions of time. Ok? Eu vou dar um tempinho para vocês finalizarem as páginas seguintes. Pages 96 e 97. Agora para a classe. Vou dar uns minutinhos e já já a gente volta para corrigi-las. 96 e 97. Ok?
Ok, queridos, estou de volta. Página 95. Finalizamos já, vamos dar continuidade às páginas seguintes. Que é a página 96 e 97. Temos na D. Temos a mesma palavra com dois sentidos diferentes. Temos the dog had no bark. Ou don't remove the bark from the tree. Então, bark aqui, na palavra 1, um, the sound produced by the dogs. O latido. E aqui, abaixo na árvore, né? the tough part that covers the tree. Né? A casquinha da árvore. E... It is hard to play the violin. It is hard. É difícil. Ebony is a hard word. Então, aqui, também falando não só da, difícil, da, da coisa difícil, né? da parte difícil de aprender alguma atividade nova, mas também da dureza de algum material. Ok? Aqui nós temos... 96. Estou continuando aqui essa página. Nós temos o tópico animals. Match the proper animals to its characteristics. Então, nós temos é, relacione os animais, né, os animais apropriados com suas características. Então, on one, we have tiger. On two, we have elephant. On three, we have pig. On four, we have dog. On five, cat. On six, bat. Seven, whale. Eight, giraffe. Ok. Ok. On five. Five, please put five. Feline people generally adopt as a pet in their houses. Ok. Good. Seven, biggest mammal in the oceans. Eight, is the, it has big neck to achieve tall places. Six, a flying mammal, which is famous for representing uh, the vampire figure. Four, is considered human's best friend. Four. Three, it is a common farm animal with likes, which likes mud, okay? And two and one, two. One of the biggest animal in Africa. And one, a very dangerous feline, which lives in the jungle. Então, só lembrando, o five que nós colocamos aqui é o cat. Seven, whale. Eight, giraffe. Six, bat. Four, dog. Three, pig. Two, elephant. And one, tiger. Ok? Ok? A gente ainda não terminou a página 96, que ainda temos um tópico relevante aqui. Subjects and objects. Ok? Sujeitos e objetos. Vamos ver, vamos trabalhar esse tópico aqui. Uh, checks, check post texting. Então, vamos checar esse texto aqui, esse material de post. Temos o seguinte. David, you and me are going to have a wonderful time. Brenda is coming too, and we have to take she at her place before going. I am very excited about it, man. Oh, don't forget us against them on Sunday. We are going to beat them all in the field. Be there, Paul. One A. Despite being very common, why the structure you and me should not be used in the text above? The answer, why you and me shouldn't be used here? The answer, pay attention to this, because they are subject pronouns. So the correct form should be you and I, you and I, okay? Okay, so the correct form should be you and I. On letter B, is there anything like that in the text that deserves to be corrected? Yes, there is. If you go to the text and you find 
take her in her place should be corrected, okay? On C, what is missing the sentence? Us against them, us against them. To make it grammarly correct, okay? So should be, it is going to be, or will be, it is us against them, okay? So should be a future structure, us against them, okay? Should be a future structure. All right, guys? So keep that in mind. Então, vocês devem colocar uma estrutura de futuro aí nessa sentença para, para torná-la é, correta gramaticalmente, ok? On to complete the sentence with subject or object pronouns. Here we have on A, na sentença A, they told Mary that he would be chosen by them in the team. Então, they told Harry that he would be chosen by them in the team. On B, we have, after talking to her, she will quite, she will quit, quit her job. Então, não se esqueçam, aqui temos um possessive, aqui nós temos um object, um subject pronoun. Aqui nós temos object, aqui nós temos subject pronoun. Então, esse joguinho aí de estrutura, de colocar um subject, um object pronoun, a gente já é capaz de compreender e de usá-los aqui, principalmente nessa, nesse exercício. Se someone robbed me while I was waiting for the bus. And D, I didn't know, I didn't know Jensen had a brother. He says, everybody call him Duke. Hope to meet him soon, okay? On E, yes, we are that band. All songs were performed by us, okay? So here we have a subject for now. And here, an object for now. Continuando aqui a página 97. Certo? A de classe. Nós temos usos de adjectives and comparative pronouns. Temos many. Temos rich, tall, short, quiet, easy, hard, cheap, hungry, good, and bad. So choose this, the pictures below and compare them with the following adjectives. You can either use comparative or superlative degrees. Então, a gente deve escolher essas figurinhas que temos abaixo e ao lado e usar os adjetivos a seguir, usando tanto estruturas de comparativo quanto de superlativo, tanto graus de comparativo e graus de superlativo. Então, eu deixo com vocês, lembrando que vocês podem usar tanto comparativo, né, com usar a, as figuras ao lado, comparando uma com a outra, ou comparar as figuras ao lado com todos é, os objetos que existem no planeta ou com todas da categoria dele. Ok? Por exemplo, richer, o seu comparativo é richer. Tall, o seu superlativo é tallest. Short, o seu comparativo é shorter. Quiet, o seu superlativo é quietest. Ok? E por aí vai. É uma forma de vocês praticarem. Ok, queridos? Assim a gente vai finalizando a nossa aula de hoje. Gostaria de lembrá-los que para casa, for homework, vocês têm páginas uh, 98, 99 e 100. 98, 99 e 100. 98, 99 e 100 são as páginas para casa. Ok? Eu vejo vocês na próxima aula. I'll see you next class. Bye bye and enjoy, guys.